Hi, I'm Graham Blackburn, and this is Traditional Woodworking by Hand. And today's episode is all about making sure that you're on the straight and level. You know, a lot of woodworking, whether you're making furniture or whether you're building a house or any other woodworking occupation, very often depends on making sure that what you're building or adjusting is straight and level, perfectly vertical, perfectly horizontal. So far as that goes, most woodworkers today probably have one of these. It's called an adjustable tri-square, and it's essentially to make sure that things are square. But many of them also have a little level in here. And this is an example of something that was invented in the 18th century in France called the spirit level, where it's just a little bubble of air inside a slightly curved glass tube. And when that bubble of air is perfectly centered, then you know that this is perfectly horizontal. Now, of course, there were lots of other things that came before that, and there were lots of variants of it. Here, for example, is something called, that works on the same principle, something called a line level. If I wanted to make sure that something over there was on the same level as something over there, I could simply string a line from point to point and hang this with the little hooks on the middle of it. And when the little air bubble was in the middle, I would know that both marks were perfectly horizontal and level. Here is yet another example of that. Um, and I haven't seen these made for a while, but the advantage of this is that unlike the line level, which hangs on the line, this is designed to be able to be screwed onto uh, something like a square or whatever. There's a little screw here. You loosen that, and that slides on. And now it's the same thing. I can use the square to make sure that the little bubble of air is perfectly level. Those are two what we call line levels. But there's yet a third curious device that... Um, that requires the little bubble. And this is called a surface bubble. And it's simply a round thing. And you can see that the little circle of air is not quite level with the inscribed circle, which is telling you that my bench is actually tipped down a little bit. That can also be very useful. Apart from these, curious devices, most woodworkers are also familiar with the basic, what we call spirit level, because of the spirit. And spirit levels, good ones, they will have uh, a spirit level for vertical at both ends. See, I can turn this around and I can look here. And they also, in the middle, have two more that are good for being horizontal. Now, I should point out that even though you can get convenient small ones like that, and if you want to spend a little more money, you can get even longer ones, which are especially useful, say, for carpentry, it's important to check that these don't get maladjusted. Some of them actually have screws that allow you to recalibrate the verticality or the horizontality of them. But in, in this case, you can see here that on this side, I've attached a piece of tape because at some point in the past, this side became unlevel. So I only use the bottom level. Now, those are the modern metal ones. A little nicer the older wooden ones. And this is a Stanley one from uh, around the turn of the century. Um, but I think it's beautiful. It's, it's a nice piece of mahogany, has a nice hand grip. It has something for telling whether you're straight and it has something for telling whether you're horizontal. Anyway, those are the main devices 
for telling whether you're level and straight. But before we did that, before we had those tools, most woodworkers used something called a plumb bob. Now, a plumb bob is so called because plumb comes from the Latin word for lead. And originally, a plumb bob was simply a lump of lead hang on a string. It's also, by the way, the same reason why plumbers are called plumbing, uh, plumbers, because they used to work just with lead, which now in many places, of course, is prohibited. But here is an example of a modern plumb bob, a really rather nice one. Uh, it's made out of brass. It's geometrically very accurate. It has a nice little um, black tip to it. And it has a little screw here that I can unscrew and attach a straight line to. And the, the, the whole point of a plumb bob is that if you hold it, it, because of its weight, it will hang perfectly vertical. So one example of something that you can make if you don't want to spend, I don't know, $40, $50 on a big five-foot metal modern plumb bob, but you want to make sure something is straight, is you can do a couple of things. It can take a piece of wood, and if you make sure that the sides are straight, as we've shown in previous episodes, and I'll put this in the vise like this here, if I hang my plumb bob, I can cut a, a piece here and just put that in there. Now, by moving this from side to side, you can see that when it hangs right in the middle with the point of it pointing at the mark down the bottom, I will know that this side is perfectly vertical. This is a really simple but effective device for making sure you're hanging something perfectly vertical. What could be more simple than one piece of wood with the hole cut out for the plumb bob? Well, there are actually a couple of other things. Here's another device. You've all seen, or hopefully you will have seen if you go back and look at the list of contents, how to make sure that you can get an edge that's perfectly straight and perfectly square. If onto that edge, that's perfectly straight and square, you nail another piece of wood, it doesn't need to be anything fancy, I just used a couple of uh, finishing nails to nail that on there. But then, if I make sure that I make a, a line that's perfectly vertical, perfectly perpendicular to the base of my line there, which I can do easily with a framing square, see? Then that will, this will now give me a device that will tell me whether what I'm doing is perfectly level. Working essentially the same way as this. I simply hang the plumb bob, wedge the string in a little saw cut that I made here, and then if what I'm measuring is in fact perfectly flat, then you'll see that the point of the plumb bob will hit the line there. And of course, as we just demonstrated before, it doesn't. So if I were to raise this up until it points exactly at it, now I know that this is level. These devices have been in use for hundreds of years. Now, I have nothing against, you know, modern tri-squares and fancy line levels and things like that. But I just wanted to point out how accurate old-fashioned hand woodworking was. So just for fun, you might want to try and make yourself a vertical plumb bob gauge, and you might want to make yourself a horizontal plumb bob gauge. If you like that, you want to learn more of these now increasingly arcane tricks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And by all means, go to my website and look at some of the many books that I've written on woodworking. And uh, send me questions, make comments, and I'll be happy to answer as best I can. So, thanks for watching. Hope you like that. See you soon.